is your boy LB and welcome to the new series called So You Want to Be a Trapper What is this series about? Now, when I was younger and coming up I like to read I like to read different books I read different books I should say I read different books and some of my favorite books we called Which Way Books were the Which Way Books Which Way Books were the books that you read and then you had to uh, make a choice and one choice led you to another part of the book and one, the other choice led you to another part and if you chose wrong you could end up dying or the uh, adventure is over if you chose right it went on to the end of the book if you made the correct decisions now with the, all of the rap songs we have about being a trapper I figured since I was a young trapper myself I would test you and all of the young people who say they want to be a trapper to see how long you would last in light burly series so you want to be a trapper so how this will be done is I will give you a scenario at the end of the scenario you have to choose from A or B there will be a link in the description of this video for both videos if you chose A or B you leave a comment saying which one you chose and then you follow the link according to what you chose the links will be unlisted so you will have to follow the link to find the video are you ready strap in so you want to be a trapper let's test your trapping ability so we set off we start off in the late 80s early 90s where the cocaine price was 17 to 18 dollars a gram this is important because to make your money you have to understand the process of re-up, what's your profit, and what goes back into purchasing more cocaine. So, we'll leave the price at $18 a gram. This is the price for one gram of cocaine. Now, you've been talking with your lady. You're out of work. Times are hard. The stress is building up on you. You got to make a move, young man. So your lady tells you on her next paycheck, she's going to give you $120 to start your business. Now, once again, cocaine is $18 a gram. So if she's giving you $120, you can buy close to six grams and a half. So now you got your six gram and a half money on the way. Just like she said, paycheck comes. She puts that buck 20 in your hand. Now you have to go get the cocaine. You're living in Harlem. The cocaine is sold uptown where the Dominicans live. All Dominicanville. <laughs> they are the cocaine suppliers. So you got the buck 20. Now you got to go get your cocaine. So you got a cab, she gives you a little extra. She gave you a little extra $20 just for your pocket. So you got your extra 20, you got your buck 20 in your hand. You ready to get your grind on. She also has a bike. Cause your woman, she likes her fitness so she stay on her bike. So do you A, take the bike, ride uptown and purchase your cocaine or B, catch a cab and ride uptown to go get your cocaine. 